Hey guys, um, probably some of you will uh, recognize this design. This is a um, SP500 generator from the Creative Science and Research. Um, so um, I originally I purchased the plan from them and um, start working on myself. Um, just put it all this stuff. Uh, I mean, uh, wound the coils. Um, learned a lot of stuff. I had no idea how I could wind the coils and stuff. And uh, um, let me turn this one. On. Okay. So um, these are the magnet discs. Um, the neodymium uh, N52, two inches wide, uh, half inch thick, thick. Um, and uh, well, I put it all this stuff together, and uh, I didn't have a good center uh, when it was spinning. I was using the commutator, and uh, uh, it was kind of wobbling, but it didn't really interfere anything uh, uh, with the. Um, production but um, well I spoke with uh, the Rick Gibson and uh, he said I must be doing something wrong um, then um, after grinding for a while I just wanted to have something um, just you know the working device but um, then he he said uh, his um, uh, uh, design is much better, cleaner. It is much better and cleaner. Now, uh, but um, to, if you will use the commutator, um, which I also, this is my version of my my commutator with the uh, um, the copper, and this is his. That's uh, aluminum. If I would compare this commutator, uh, his commutator is a little bit smaller. Um, I don't know if it makes any big difference, but um, I paid for that 420 or $450 paid to him. So um, all these parts I bought it, I, uh, we cut the plastics, um, this is just the scrap materials we used it. I, I do have a HMVW plastics also, but I, I have not cut it yet. Um, but anyway, um, it didn't make really big difference. Um, yes, it did stop the uh, house meter, but uh, th this house meter does not really show you the uh, the how much draw the amperage was taking this motor well without the load it was not taking a whole lot but if you would apply a very small amount of load like a, a 20 watt or 13 watt i have a, um, a server fan it's like a uh, it works on the 110 uh, volt uh, server fan let me show you this one that one if i would put this load on the motor would kind of really die, you know, it was not moving uh, anywhere. So, uh, well, I spoke with him uh, many times and the email exchange and uh, phone conversations and all this stuff uh, before. And uh, then I decided to, well, he said uh, if I would get his uh, stuff, which is this one, uh, then um, this one's supposed to produce extra energy than um, than consume so th he said um, this one is very energy efficient like uh, in their advertising like uh, this one's supposed to be a 16 horsepower motor uh, but uh, <laughs> no way you, you're not gonna get the 16 horsepower um, uh, from this motor uh, especially if you're gonna be using the commutator that's his stuff all right, with the brush assembly and uh, all this stuff, you know, there is no way. So if you guys planning to purchase that, I already purchased it. That was a lot of money. Um, yes, and plus he gave me the deal, and uh, because I already had the housing, and I already, I only purchased that part. Okay, well included magnets. This one is already wired. Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, the um, 
the air coils are better wounded than mine, but that's okay. You know, it's not a. It was it didn't make any big difference. You know, yes, uh, he has uh, hidden these wires in here. Has a little grooves. Yeah, but uh, really, it did not make a whole lot different. So, uh, well. <sighs> When I paid him, I waited a couple months and I finally got it. But the problem is, um, I'm I was getting the same results on the commentator. Then uh, he said, um, "Then you need another another part of this, or just build the generator." But uh, even you build the generator, so you see this one. Uh, this is the washing machine hub uh, smart drive. This one acts as a generator as well. You can you can use as a generator. Um, then uh, this one was not connected that time, so I connected all this on the commutator, and uh, it was not even moving. It was just barely. I raised the the variac around 110, or you know, it's a maximum, and uh, it was not barely. It was making lots of sparks. And uh, it was just uh, was not doing anything there because if I would remove this hub, it was it had the, some resistance. Even so, I didn't have anything plugged in here. Um, it was yeah, it was holding the motor, uh, this uh, the this motor to spin uh, easily. So I removed that, and uh, it was yeah, I could spin, but uh, it just spins. There is no torque on it. You, you can stop with the hand. So I don't know what they're demonstrating on their videos. They're not good in uh, uh, the, the, the... After when you pay money, that's it. You're done. They're not going to give you any support. The, he said only email support. And uh, everything I asked him um, about the um, capacitor wiring and stuff, he said it's classified. We cannot give you this information. But uh, you know what? Um, I just... Uh, gave up with these guys and uh, I moved on my own. So instead of building another motor like that, it would not do anything. I'm telling you, it's uh, it would not that that's their stuff. This is the nice design, but it's not gonna give you 16 horsepower. That's for sure. Now uh, I decided to, according to Gerard Moore, uh, he um, he had a first demonstration with this stuff and uh, yes uh, it had a lot of uh, um, he was using the Anheim uh, controller with a hole sensor then there was another guy on the YouTube uh, he uh, showed um, the sensorless um, he was able to spin the uh, washing machine motor with this um, that's uh, 220 volt. I just uh, I uh, I was going to return that because uh, I'm not. We don't have a, a 220. I do have a 220 at home, but uh, uh, it just I thought it would be easy to use a 110. And they do have a 110, but uh, I ended up and bought this one and realized uh, I had to do the wiring and all this stuff. Anyway, um, um, then this is today. I just tested. I put everything together and. Uh, see if this one would work and uh, well um, it did really surprise me because uh, this one has a uh, lots of torque you cannot stop by hand I mean the torque is the key in this project if you don't have a torque you can have that kind of stuff uh, millions of them and uh, you, you cannot spin it so this one I was thinking about to attach this whole entire assembly on this housing. The machinist cut this piece for me, the hub. Then I was able to attach that. And I was thinking to, you know, put it on the same shaft. No uh, pulleys and all this stuff. Put it on the same, sh uh, same shaft. And I wanted to have something to control the speed of this motor. So, uh, the other guy mentioned, and uh, he demonstrated, uh, he was using that kind of stuff, uh, the uh, frequency, uh, uh, the inverter, and he was able to spin the uh, washing machine motor 
with no problem. So I decided to buy this one as well and I purchased, um, I just put it together now and uh, um, the first time it was kind of vibrating. Uh, just uh, it was very hard to spin that. Uh, it was not spinning at all. It was just vibrating like that, crazy. And um, I went through the settings, and um, on this uh, in this manual, I just compared. I just pressed some buttons, and I messed it up something there. So I went to the settings, and uh, I think I adjusted the torque. The torque in here um, right here the torque compensation was zero the default settings and uh, it can set like a zero to four and I set it up on one I think or on two so um, and um, went through all of them compared all these settings together and uh, now I was I am able to uh, spin this everything um, and um, this is my first demonstration and uh, I will measure that everything properly um, with the tools and uh, then uh, this one is not even tied up properly I mean uh, it, it, if I apply any uh, load it could slip and uh, uh, I'm just showing you guys uh, how it spins. So I want to just. It's already. Yeah. It is. It is extremely uh, smooth and uh, extremely quiet. It just like a. Um, you feels like you're driving the Tesla. It's going higher look at that that's what I was uh, that's what I was after I wanted to have is something uh, primary mover and uh, now I can use their stuff or I can use something else better stuff even but at this since I paid a lot of money with them I wanted to make this one working and uh, you can dare to stop this one by hand it's impossible I mean, uh, I don't want to just, I, I did try it, but it, it is very, very hard to stop it. Um, now I want to just check the, um, yeah, it is about uh, 550 RPM. Um, and I'm gonna check. Oh, shit. Um, on this speed, this one produce around uh, general uh, produce around um, uh, it's turned off. Uh, 180 volts, something like that. Let me show you. Doing everything with one one hand. Uh, actually, it's a little bit higher. Uh, 192 volt. Yeah, it's. Uh, I'm not showing you anything impressive here, but uh, what I'm showing you here is that this one is this one has a lots of torque. So uh, the torque is the key. Uh, if you don't have a torque, you have nothing. Like I had nothing with this. Um, what I'm thinking now is, uh, if this one has enough torque, then I'm gonna put the, some load on it after when I tight this stuff, and uh, then I will really test that what's going on here. Is it um, if this one can keep up with the torque? I may adjust the torque there and uh, see how it works. But uh, the things, good news is, I was able to spin this with this controller. Controller. So this controller is. I'll tell you. Uh, yeah. Yeah. This is. Uh, 
2.2 kilowatt uh, uh, three phase I mean I'm using one phase 220 but uh, you can use the three phase as well um, this is the model okay it was like 120 or 150 bucks on the eBay so all you have to do is uh, this is the incoming wire so the R and T if you have a three phase it should be R S T but uh, I'm using R and T S is uh, excluded and uh, this one is U V W it's a corresponding uh, the color coded and I will plug this one in and then you will plug this one right here I don't know if it matters the uh, the which one is first or second it, I think it does not matter but uh, I think it, the settings are the key but uh, if it if it does matter then you have to play with it to switch this uh, three wires and uh, anyway I got this one working and I uh, will give you guys more updates uh, after when I have uh, some good numbers here alright thank you